Hello and welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Luigi's Mansion 2 on Ink Point Awesome, where the ink stands for incredible. So let's start right into the game. So we have to take file 2, because I already started to play it a little bit, just the first level. So what it's basically about, this crazy professor is doing his job with a lot of ghosts but then the dark moon gets destroyed and all the ghosts turn into bad ghosts so they try to prank him and you are playing as Luigi and have to catch them all. So the pixel shifter is very important in this game, it's kinda like a teleporter who gets you into the different stages and of course out of them again. So we are in the bunker of the professor and he's glad to see us again but Luigi seems a bit of scared and he will be all the game up through. I haven't played it in quite a while now so he's basically explaining now what I already explained that uh, Dark Moon got destroyed and all of the ghosts <coughs> in the Evershade Valley um, turned into bad ghosts and you're a ghostbuster now So 
So that's his machine to clean them broken shards so that the fuck is going away who is making the ghosts turn bad. <coughs> and the crazy professor wants us to find them all. We start off with level 1 in the gloomy manner to clean up and save the professor from the bad ghosts. So that's our community communication system and a torch. That's all we get. I haven't played the first... The first game of Luigi's Mansion though. But the second one is quite funny, even if you don't have a clue of what it's about. So let's get it started then. So, I'm pressing B, we can run. That's gonna make the game be a whole lot of more funny. Because I hate it when you're slow. So, here we can have a look. Luigi is just scared of everything all through the game. I have no clue what I'm supposed to do, but I'm trying to catch this key, I guess. Get it, brah! Got it! So, we should now be able to enter the gloomy manor.
So that was the room we just had a look into. And there it is. Our next tool. So the Poltergeist 5000 He's explaining how to how to use it So we can just clean up everything And we found another key So, where are them ghosts he's talking about? Oh god. Jesus, that nearly killed us. We need a key to open the door. So. Show, buddy. So we can look up and look down on pressing either X or B. There seems to be a ghost outside there. Not quite sure if we can catch him. At least we got the monies. Oh, there he was. Down to me. There it is. So, whoa! Yuck. So let's just go and open the door <coughs> to see what's behind. And to catch them ghosts, maybe? So we need to get that little flashlight to open those doors. So just get it down. No.
Oh god. I suck at this game. Come on. Open the door with the green circular panels, like that one. Just flash it. So, if we, if we want to catch some ghosts, we have to Stun them with that flashlight, and then we can catch them. <laughs> so as you can see, the game has a lot of funny aspects, and it's so good to play. So there's the first one. Okay, he's gone again. Fuck it. I'm just going to follow him. What the fuck is that? Oh, you can even flush the toilet. So, now we can catch him. Just flash them and pull them in. There should be another one. There he is. Very nice. So every time you clean the room and there are no ghosts anymore, the light goes on again. Gotta catch him all. It's like playing Pokemon. Ooh. I got this. Easy mode. So catch some coins. So we're finished for the first stage. So the professor's always in a good mood. Now we're back in his bunker and he wants us to give him all the ghosts so he can do his experiments on it or what the fuck.
So he wants us to go on to the next stage, but we'll just finish the video and come back later for a new one. If you liked the video, please subscribe, thumbs up, tell your grandma. I don't care. Whatever you want. See ya.